This video is part of a series of videos presenting solutions of problems related to the machine dynamics topic. This video presents the solution of a problem, dealing with the static analysis of a six-link linkage. For the mechanism, it is asked to write matrix equation to find moment and all reactions, when the external force P is given. We are going to draw the free body diagram for each link separately. To this purpose, we will keep a miniature of the mechanism to recall connections between links. Let's start with the slider C. The slider is first subjected to the external force P. The slider is connected to the ground using a translating kinematic pair. Thus, there is a normal force, applied by the ground. The slider is also connected to the bar BC, using a rotating kinematic pair. Hence, there are two reactions, CX and CY, acting on the slider, applied by the bar BC. Let's consider now, the bar BC. As the bar BC, exerts on the slider bar two forces, CX and CY. The slider exerts on the bar BC, the same forces, but in opposite direction. Also the bar BC, is connected to the slider in D, using a prismatic kinematic pair. Hence, the slider applies a normal force DN, on the bar BC. The reaction DN, is perpendicular to the bar BC. The bar BC is also connected to the bar AB, using a revolute joint. Thus, the bar AB, exerts two reactions BX and BY, on the bar BC. We move now to the slider in D. The slider exerts a force DN, on the bar BC. Thus, the bar BC, applies on the slider, a reaction DN, a similar force but in opposite direction. Also, the slider is connected to the bar DE, using a pin joint. Hence, the bar DE, exerts two reactions dx and dy, on the slider. Next is the bar de. This bar exerts two reactions dx and dy on the slider in d. Thus, the slider will apply on the bar de, similar forces but in opposite direction. The bar de, is connected to the ground using rotating joint. Thus the ground applies two reactions ex and ey. Finally, we consider the bar AB. The bar AB is subjected to the external moment M. The bar AB is subjected to two reactions, BX and BY, which are opposite to the ones applied on the bar BC. Finally, the ground exerts two reactions AX and AY. We have the completed the free body diagrams of all links. We can move to write the equilibrium equations of each link. After drawing the free body diagram of each link. We move now to the second step where we will write the equilibrium equations for each link. Let's start with the slider in C. A slider is considered as a particle. Thus two equilibrium equations can be written. The equilibrium along the horizontal direction gives, P minus CX is equal to zero. Or simply CX is equal to P. This will be our first equation. Similarly, the equilibrium along the vertical direction gives, cy minus cn, is equal to zero. This will be the second equation. The second link to be considered here is the bar VDC. A bar is considered as a rigid body. Thus, three equilibrium equations can be written. Also the force dn is perpendicular to the bar as the bar has angle phi bc with horizontal direction. Thus, force dn has the same angle, phi bc, but with the vertical direction. The horizontal equilibrium writes, bx plus cx minus, dn sine phi bc, is equal to zero. Also the vertical equilibrium writes, by minus cy minus, dn cosine phi bc, is equal to zero. Finally, the moment equilibrium about B gives minus BD times DN plus BC times sine phi BC times CX 
minus BC times cosine phi BC times CY is equal to zero. Now, let's focus on the slider in D. Recall that the angle of the force DN with vertical direction is phi BC. Thus, the horizontal equilibrium writes, minus DX, plus DN sine phi BC, is equal to zero. And, the vertical equilibrium writes, minus DY, plus DN cosine phi BC, is equal to zero. Next, let's consider the bar DE. Let assume that the angle of the bar DE with the horizontal line is phi DE. The horizontal equilibrium writes, DX minus EX, is equal to zero. Also, the vertical equilibrium writes, DY minus EY, is equal to zero. And, the moment equilibrium about E writes, DE times, sine phi DE, times DX. Minus DE times, cosine phi DE, times dy is equal to zero the last link is the link ab the angle of the link with the horizontal line is phi ab the horizontal equilibrium writes ax minus bx is equal to zero the vertical equilibrium writes ay minus by is equal to zero and the last equation the moment equilibrium about a gives AB, times sine phi AB, times BX. Minus AB, times cosine phi AB, times BY. Plus M. Is equal to zero. We have succeeded here to establish 13 equilibrium equations, in terms of 13 unknowns. Before writing these equations in a matrix form, it's better to simplify a little, the moment equilibrium equations, 5, 10, and 13. Here are the moment equilibrium equations. Let's start with equation 5. It is possible here to divide the equation by the distance BC. The equation writes then, minus BD over BC, times DN, plus, sine phi BC, times CX, minus, cosine phi BC, times CY, is equal to zero. We can denote alpha, the ratio BD over BC. Thus, the moment equation can be written as minus alpha times DN plus sine phi BC times CX minus cosine phi BC times CY is equal to zero. Now, let's move to equation 10. This equation can be simplified by dividing by the distance DE. The equation then writes sine phi DE times DX minus cosine phi DE times DY is equal to zero. Next, let's consider equation 13. Also here, the equation can be simplified by dividing by the distance AB. The equation then writes sine phi AB times bx minus cosine phi ab times by plus m divided by ab is equal to zero let's now substitute the equations 5 10 13 by the equations 5 dash 10 dash 13 dash just established first we need to order the unknowns in the vector of unknowns here we have chosen the following order. AX, BX, CX, DX, EX, AY, BY, CY, DY, EY, CN, DN, and M over AB. We have considered here M over AB, in the vector of unknowns, so that vector of unknowns will be homogeneous to a force. And that the coefficients of the matrix will be unitless. Let's start with the first equation. The first equation reads, Cx is equal to P. Thus, in the first row, we have 1 in the third column, and 0 everywhere else. In the right-hand vector, we have P in the first row. The second equation reads, Cy minus Cn, is equal to 0. Thus we have 1 in the column number 8, and minus 1, 
in the column number 11, and 0 elsewhere. And we have 0 in the second row of the right-hand vector. The third equation reads, bx plus cx, minus dn sine phi bc, is equal to 0. Thus, in third row of the matrix, we have 1 in the second column, 1 in the third column, and minus sine phi bc, in the column number 12. And of course 0 elsewhere. For the right-hand vector, we have also 0 in the third row. The fourth equation reads, by minus cy, minus dn cosine phi bc, is equal to 0. Thus, in fourth row of the matrix, we have 1 in the seventh column, minus 1 in the column number 8, and minus cosine phi bc, in the column number 12. And 0 elsewhere. For the right-hand vector, we have also 0 in the fourth row. For the fifth row, we will consider the equation number 5 dash. This equation reads, minus alpha dn, plus sine phi bc times cx, minus cosine phi bc times cy, is equal to 0. Hence in the fifth row we have sine phi bc in the third column, minus cosine phi bc in the column number 7. We have minus alpha in column number 12. We have also 0 in all other columns. And we have 0 in the fifth row of the rand hand vector. Now let's move to the sixth row, using equation 6. Equation 6 reads, minus dx plus, dn sine phi bc, is equal to 0. Hence, in the sixth row, we have minus 1 in the fourth column, and sine phi bc, in the column number 12. We have 0 in all other columns of the sixth row of the matrix. For the right-hand vector we have also 0. Considering now equation 7, which reads, minus dy, plus cosine phi bc, is equal to 0. For the seventh row of the matrix, we have minus 1 in the column number 9, and cosine phi bc in the column number 12, and 0 everywhere else. And of course 0 in the seventh row of the right-hand vector. In the row number 8 of the matrix, and using equation 8, we have 1 in the column number 4 and minus 1 in the column number 5, and 0 elsewhere. And we have 0 in the right-hand vector. In the row number 9 of the matrix, and using equation 9, we have 1 in the column number 9 and minus 1 in the column number 10, and 0 elsewhere. And we have 0 in the right-hand vector. In the row number 10 of the matrix, and using equation 10 dash, we have sine phi de in the column number 4 and, minus cosine phi de, in the column number 9, and 0 elsewhere. And we have 0 in the right-hand vector. In the row number 11 of the matrix, and using equation 11, we have 1 in the first column and, minus 1 in the second column, and 0 elsewhere. And we have 0 in the right-hand vector. In the row number 12 of the matrix, and using equation 12, we have 1 in the 6th column and, minus 1 in the 7th column, and 0 elsewhere. And we have 0 in the right-hand vector. Finally, in the row number 13 of the matrix, and using equation 13, we have sine phi AB in the 2nd column. We have minus cosine phi AB, in the 7th column, and we have 1 in column number 13. And we have 0 in the right-hand vector. We have succeeded here to build the matrix equation shown, to model the static equilibrium of the shown mechanism. Thanks for watching.